we love shooting as a family, and today we're taking out some cool new toys from Cytac Portable Steel. If you've never shot on steel, it's an absolute game changer. And today we're going to talk about their pro stand with the reactive silhouette, along with the ultimate gong pack. So stick with me, we'll see if it's up to the test. As the name implies, Cytac specializes in portable steel meaning it's absolutely easy to carry out. It fits in a very simple to use bag. Um, when I've gone shooting in the past with steel, it can be a little bit of a task. Usually it's taken up an entire truck bed, takes a couple of guys to move out. As you can see, this all fits into one simple carry case, sets up within minutes, and allows us to get plinking uh, in no time at all. What's interesting about the Ultimate Gong Kit is most of these components are actually built from AR-500 steel, just like the gong. Meaning that for long range, when you're sighting your rifle in, if you hit the target itself, it's not a huge deal. Their pro stand is what I think really put them on the map. It's really what caught my attention when I ran into these guys at a gun show. The pro stand is absolutely easy to set up, very lightweight and portable. I can set this thing up in seconds. Sweet. The reactive silhouette just drops right on top of the, the 2x4. You think we're good there? Any good steel target is going to have a downward angle to deflect, uh, obviously, both the lead and the jacketing down toward the ground. And as you can see, the 2x4 can generally, is generally going to take a lot of uh, that jacketing and that spalling. Uh, but that's okay, 2x4s are cheap. Now the trick to steel is you don't want to get too close in addition to uh, avoiding ricochets you really want to make sure that uh, you're not pitting the steel if you're too close. Obviously with the ballistics of modern firearms uh, you, want to, you want to make sure that you're not turning your steel into Swiss cheese. No steel is forever but as you can see we only had just minor uh, you know, minor abrasions. It, it didn't even really look like it was pitting the steel uh, and uh, hey, this should last for quite a while. All in all, I'm really satisfied with my purchase. I know I'm going to be using this steel for a long time to come, and even when I have to replace these plates eventually, uh, I'm going to continue going back to SciTech. Hope you found this video useful. Please like and subscribe if I've earned it, and uh, we hope to see you next time.